Have you ever gotten so caught up in a good movie that you forget you're watching a movie and you enter the imagined world? Hypnosis has been called believed in imagination. It's a state of highly focused attention. So it's like you're looking through the telephoto lens of a camera, which you see, you see with great detail, but you dissociate. You're less aware of what's going on around you. You turn down the salience network that warns you that something else might happen that's more important. You're going back to what your assumptions are about who you are, what you are, what you should be. Right. So keep going. Keep so going. hypnosis is uh, has been called believed in imagination. It's a state of highly focused attention. So it's like you're you're looking through the telephoto lens of a camera, which you see, you see with great detail, but you dissociate. You're less aware of what's going on around you. You turn down the salience network that warns you that something else might happen that's more important. This intensity of focus is a key part of hypnosis, and we do it all the time to some extent. So in hypnosis, you turn that down. You allow yourself to give yourself to whatever it is you are focusing on, put outside of conscious awareness things that might ordinarily be in consciousness. And you can try out being different. That's the third and most interesting part of hypnosis. So you had a producer who said she was on stage being hypnotized. You do things. You know, the football coach will dance like a ballerina. It's what scares everybody about hypnosis. But it's actually a very important lesson that you can try out being different. You can suspend yourself. So it's highly focused attention, dissociation, and trying out being different. So David, if Neil doesn't think it's a real thing, what can you say to him to make him understand in your mind that it is a real thing? Why are you starting a fight between us? All I said was I was a little skeptical. That's you don't believe in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not a matter of faith. It's not a matter right, of exactly, faith. It's a exactly. matter of reality. Is the reality. evidence is there or not? And or the evidence is there. And I'm guessing you're probably not very hypnotizable, uh, but uh, whether you are or not, the phenomenon exists. Uh, it's the oldest Western conception of a psychotherapy. It's been around for 250 years. And it is a very robust phenomenon. And the majority, all, all eight-year-olds are in trances all the time. You know, if you call them in for dinner, they don't hear you. We lose some hypnotizability as we get uh, older, as we get into our adult years. But the majority of the population is hypnotizable. Well, how do you test? Is there a, there's a standard hypnotizability test? Is there? Yes. There is. Yeah. I use, we have one called the hypnotic conduction profile. I, it takes about five minutes. Uh, we have it on our reverie self hypnosis app. You can try it for yourself. All I do is do a hypnotic conduction. So I ask you to look up, close your eyes, take a deep breath, let the breath out, let your eyes relax, but keep them closed, let your body float. And then I give instructions about having one hand or the other float up in the air like a balloon. 